And then here comes Jacqueline Hill. The first night they hang out, the first night they hang out, Kathleen Lyons has such like a goody two shoes image, girl. But the first night she hangs out with Jacqueline Hill, Boom! Kaboom! Kaboom! She's at it again! Alright you guys, I'm gonna cut straight to the point because I don't want to drag this on. Last night I wrongfully posted a snap that I should not have posted. And the second that I realized what I had posted, I deleted it. Me and Kathleen, her husband Danny, and my, my husband all hung out yesterday the entire day. We had a blast. We got them filming. We made some drinks. We went upstairs. We started playing video games. We were having a great time. I asked her, I said, is it okay if I Snapchat you? She's like, oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. Kept drinking, kept playing, laughing. It was hilarious. As you guys have seen the Snapchats, her reaction was so funny of her shaking her legs. I was so in the moment. Kathleen said something that she regrets so much. Her and Danny both said in the Snapchat, oh, don't post that, don't post that. I did not hear them. 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 And I just posted it. I cannot believe, once we realized 20 minutes later, 25 minutes later, sorry, there's mosquitoes everywhere, people started tweeting us being like, whoa, what did I just see? And we're like, wait, what, huh? I went to my Snapchat and I'm like, what are they talking about? Once I realized what I had posted, I freaked out. I deleted it, I deleted it, I deleted it the second that it happened. I could not even, I, I still, I'm so angry at myself. I cannot believe that I did not hear them say, don't post that because in the snapchat like you can hear her husband say oh don't post that don't post that but i'm just like ah! just didn't even hear them and i am so mad at myself that this happened that i could cause like such an uproar and i am so sorry like i i don't even have any, i have nothing to say right now like even though i'm saying so much i have nothing to say and now people are coming and attacking me and leaving snake emojis all over my social media telling me that I did this to push her down so that I could be, I did this to push her down so that I could be on top, be on top so that I could be a queen. And I'm just like, is, is this what you guys really think about me? Like, obviously it is, but first of all, even if she did something that wasn't even offensive, even if she just said like, oh my God, I like bananas. And then was like, wait, no, don't post that. I don't want anyone to know that I don't like bananas. I wouldn't post it. Like, that makes me look bad. Why would I post something knowing that they said don't post it? Like. I am just honestly mad at myself because I'm normally so much sharper than that. I'm normally better than that. I normally, I'm on top of things. The only thing I can think is because I was drinking and I was standing right next to my loud ass TV with surround sound and I was laughing like a hyena and I was not paying attention to what she was saying. I was paying attention to her body movements and her reaction and I thought it was hilarious. And I feel like an idiot. I feel like an idiot and I am so sorry. And I'm so sorry that this happened to Kathleen because Kathleen is seriously, like I have said, the nicest person I have ever met and like what she said was wrong but she feels so bad I mean when like we got done snapping and like we went back and like she was like, freaking out she's like I can't believe that word came out of my mouth and she's given such a genuine apology to everybody and like I just I feel terrible I, I just feel terrible and I feel terrible and I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. We're talking about so much drama going on right now. Woo, girl, I'm telling you, girl, I thought the last couple of days there hasn't been any drama, girl. But all of a sudden, my fat ass got on YouTube and all these videos start popping up about all the drama. Well, I'm going to tell you the tea, girl, and I'm going to tell you my busted ass opinion. Tell you the tea, girl, to sit back, girl, get your medial muscles ready, mix them up. Top tea, girl. I know you watch my videos. Because this is, this is crazy, okay? Start the video, girl. Alright, so here's the tea, girl. So 
So bust it out, Jacqueline Hill, love her some mac. You already know, she's not putting on makeup, she's bitching, she's not bitching, she's putting on makeup. We gotta add a new one to the list, girl. If she's not doing that, she's Snapchatting to expose you, girl. Jacqueline Hill mistakenly, mistakenly, girl, exposed her friend. That so happens, so happens to be another beauty guru girl. So here's the thing girl, like you ever watch Nikki Tutorials Levers to Match? Nikki Tutorials, she rarely ever really hangs out with other beauty influencers girl and maybe this is why. Because the other beauty influence girl will Snapchat you the house and bloop, upload girl and there goes your career over and done with girl. So Nikki Tutorials, shout out to you girl for always keeping it solo, running deep. Cause you are, you already know who else does that girl. Patrick Starr be the main one at all the beauty guru parties snapping everything girl. She snaps everything. I don't know what it is girl, these beauty gurus start to drink girl, start drinking the house. Next thing you know they want to Snapchat everything that you're not supposed to Snapchat and post it and wake up the next morning talking about, oh I'm so sorry I was drunk, oh my god. But look, clock this the house too girl, Jacqueline Hill lately has been drinking Drinking a lot on her YouTube channel openly. She can oh, what's wrong with drinking? What's wrong with drinking? Girl, you exposed your friend. Seriously, if I was what Kathleen Lights girl, girl, seriously, I would never talk to you again. I'd be like, girl, we keep it cool, girl, but you're gonna stay well over there. I ain't talking to you. I'm not associating myself with you. You ruined me, you exposed me, you say it was on accident, girl, but girl, you don't play with my money, bye. And that, truly, this is what it's about, girl. Jacqueline Hill could've, would've, maybe, ruined Kathleen Light's career, girl. No, grasp what I'm trying to tell you, girl. Cause y'all you gotta understand, right? Kathleen Lyons has built like this empire on YouTube of makeup, beauty reviews, blah, 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 blah. And then here comes Jaclyn Hill. The first night they hang out, the first night they hang out. Calm, calm, calm down, girl. Jaclyn Hill ruined Kathleen Lyons' career, in my little opinion, girl. Because if it wasn't for this, no one would have known what was said last night. No one would have known what Kathleen said. No one would have even cared. Now the bigger picture is, I mean honestly, a lot of people have been saying that if you're not black, you really shouldn't judge Kathleen and stuff like that. Look girl, I'm not black. However, I dated enough black guys that I'm probably practically a Kardashian girl. Girl, I'm not black, but maybe a Kardashian girl. And if you don't like my busted ass jokes, girl, get over it. Because if I was at a nightclub telling the same jokes, y'all would live for it the house. So anyways, so Kathleen Lice had this picture perfect career, girl, okay? And the first night she hanged out with Jacqueline Hill, it all goes down the drain. Now everybody done seen the videos, girl. Everybody knows what happened, girl. And if you don't, I'll catch you up to speed. Kathleen Lyons went over to Miss Jackie Girl house. She was playing a video game, had this little mask on, playing this game, going on what the hell's going on. And then Jacqueline Hill's over here Snapchatting her. <laughs> and then boom, uploaded, and everybody knows that Miss Kathleen said the N word, girl. And you could barely even hear it. I mean, honestly, you could barely even hear what she said. But y'all done clocked at the house, girl. Y'all know what she said. I'm not here to pass judgment. I'm not here to say if she's racist, if she's not racist at the end of the day, girl. I don't care. I'm just reporting the news. But it's so shady, girl, that Jacqueline Hill did that. And Jacqueline Hill should not only apologize to Kathleen, but give her some money, honey. That's what she needs to do for ruining her, for throwing dust on her name. Because a lot of people, honestly, I'm going to tell you, girl, a lot of people didn't even know who Kathleen Lyons is until now. A lot of people already do. A lot of people not saying that. I'm not saying she's irrelevant. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying it just opens up her to the drama world. Because when's the last time, seriously, when's the last time we talked about Kathleen Lyons in the drama world? Anybody? Anybody? No, nobody knows. Nobody knows. She's been, she's always been really good, right? You know who else been really good? Kim Thai, girl. You never really hear about her, girl. I have my opinions about Kim Thai, girl, but I'm not going to say it in this video. You got to wait till the next video. Get that tea. But she's not going to get in this one. But anyways, we all need to know that when hanging around Jaclyn Hill, you got to watch her. Because when she starts getting drunk, girl, she wants to Snapchat your business and post it. Now, a lot of people have been saying, here's a conspiracy, girl, conspiracy theory of the house. A lot of people have been saying, this all conspiracies. My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, is that maybe Jaclyn Hill was so jealous and envious of Kathleen Lights that she intentionally Snapchatted her and put her in a position 
where Kathleen Lights off her guard to Snapchat her other. Now, Kathleen Lights did go and apologize because I already know it's going to be a little point that in the comment. Well, how, how do you know this is even true? You have no proof, girl. Girl, bye. Look, Kathleen Lights posted publicly that she is sorry. She's sorry for what she said. Forgive her. Yada, yada, yada. Jacqueline Hill went over there and apologized. I'm sorry. I was drunk. Blah, blah, blah. They both admitted they were drinking or something like that. But you already know. Jeffree Star girl had to get up in this mix, girl. Because he ain't going to let this drama fly by without his getting his name in the mix, honey. <laughs> Tweet something out, girls. He tweeted a little something, and then Jacqueline Hill kind of maybe took offense to a girl. I don't even know. That's so weird. Like the last time I checked, Jacqueline and Jeffrey were cool. So for Jeffrey to like tweet that, it kind of has like Jacqueline like shaking in her boots, girl. It's kind of crazy. Cause now I think like all the beauty people are like, girl, Jacqueline, get away from me. You're not invited to our party anymore, and you can't hang with us anymore. You snapped to everything, girl. Get away. You're gonna you're gonna expose me. You're gonna expose me, Jacqueline. Seriously, y'all need to watch out. But lesson learned. Seriously. Stop drinking and Snapchatting. That should be a new thing. Don't drink and drive and don't drink and Snapchat. Nobody hang out with Jacqueline Hill anymore because she wants to Snapchat and destroy your career or attempt to. And Kathleen, shame on you, girl. You were doing so good. You were doing so good in your little corner of the internet where no one even knew you existed until now. At least, you know me. And now you're all over the world for negative views, which it sucks so bad. This sucks so bad. The fact that you can build, literally, like, hear me out, girl. Like, if you haven't clicked off the video because you're bored, hear me out, girl. If you can, <laughs> that the fact that you can build a career, right, of positive stuff and good content and win awards and, and rich and famous, you just really build something beautiful and all it takes is one mistake and all that just, and people just label you as something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get, if you, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, you can have a really good career and it be spotless and clean and no dust and no marks and no scandals, no drama. But the minute you slip up, everybody thinks of you as that one thing. That, the one bad thing you did, they think of you as. So it just kind of makes it be like, damn. It's like, was all that good stuff or nothing? You know what I'm saying? Now, Kathleen Lice really ain't hurting that much. She's, it's just a lot of drama. But you already know she ain't gonna go make a video about it. Oh no no, <laughs> she ain't gonna make a YouTube video about it. She gonna she'll publicly tweet it, put it on Instagram, but she ain't gonna make no video, girl. Now neither is Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill ain't gonna make a video about it either. Apologizing, girl, because the the word is a lot of the sponsors don't even know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So another so the other T is that Jacqueline and Kathleen already filmed videos because they were basically hanging out because they were collaborating, making YouTube videos together. So they shot these videos and then this drama happened. So I wonder if the videos are still gonna be put out there. I think they would be. And if they would be, you already know the comment section is gonna be lit. You already know people are gonna be in the comments, girl, talking about the drama. Am I shocked and surprised? No, not really. Because what they did happens all the time, girl, in the world. The only difference is Jack and Hill Snapchatted it. At the end of the day, I'm not here to judge who and me. Who is me to judge? Who is you to judge? But all we can do is sit back and watch the drama. As always, girls, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like the video, share it. Don't like the video, say it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. All right, so next video. Peace.